Hi, this is Juan from WantTutors.com. Welcome to my totally free office hours. Today we're working on the Living Environment Regions for January 2017. If you want to access these exams anywhere in the world, go to nysedregions.org and down here you click on the appropriate link. All right, let's get to work. Here's number 13, a characteristic common uh, to both diff diffusion and active transport is that uh, one, enzymes are required, two, oxygen uh, is moved across the membrane, let's make this a little bigger, uh, three, ATP is needed, or four, uh, the movement of molecules occurs. So try to guess this answer, see if you get the same answer as we do, hit the like button if you do. Um, and always answer the question before watching the video. So let's see if we can get something out of this information. This is diffusion and active transport. A diffusion is an example of passive transport. Literally, the 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 concentration of of some molecule or uh, compound or chemical is larger here than it is here. And it happens to be, this chemical is it happens to be able to pass through a membrane, so so it it does. So more chemical from the the more dense side of the membrane passes into the less dense side than the quantity of the chemical that passes from the less dense side to the more dense side. So eventually the the chemicals uh, uh, that chemical evens out in concentration. That's what act, uh, that's what one example of passive transport. Active transport takes energy. So uh, a protein sees the chemical, grabs it, brings it in, okay? Um, maybe, if some, maybe simultaneously takes a chemical in, brings it out, from the inside and brings it out using energy. Uh, and that energy comes from ATP. So uh, the next one, enzymes are required only for active transport. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Even that uh, enzymes actually perform chemical reactions, not necessarily. Okay, and again, uh, an enzyme is, is, is for a chemical reaction. It's not, it's not for a physical transport. Um, and again, uh, passive transport diffusion just happens naturally. It's the chemicals move physically by themselves from one section to another. The next one, oxygen is moved across a membrane. Yeah, oxygen can move across a membrane, but it's not, they're, they're saying common to both. This is only, only sometimes. Only so, uh, oxygen can can uh, can go through a um, through a, a membrane through passive transport. Actually, I'm I'm not even sure if there's a there's a method of of transporting oxygen through through uh, active transport. But not it's not always oxygen. Not always involving oxygen. I couldn't even imagine why the, why a cell would want to transport oxygen using active transport when it happens so smoothly through passive transport with zero energy needed. The next one, ATP is needed. This is only for active transport. Because again, active transport takes energy. Passive transport does not require any energy, so an ATP is not needed. So all these so far are wrong, which means that that's the only one left. Now let's see what this one says. The movement of molecules occurs. That's very simple. The movement of molecules occurs. This is literally what transport is. So that has to be the answer. That's very simple. Uh, thanks for watching. If you're watching from our channel, stay tuned for the next video starting now. If not, go to our channel, uh, hit the subscribe button, and then go to the January 2017 Living Environment Region section and, and click on the appropriate section, uh, and you can watch all the videos in sequence. Thanks for watching.